And in the context of our credit union, what does that mean? And how does it affect us as a society? We as a society need to have a clear, clear vision of what we really hope to achieve. This idea of dreaming for something better, for something where all of us can contribute regardless of how much we have. We can make a contribution into a pool and then use this pool of resources to help others in their development and at the same time help ourselves. So today I ask the question again, are we dreaming big enough? And my experience with discussing with people have shown that some are fearful of dreaming the dream that we have. The dream of us using our financial resources, using our management skills, and using our warmth and togetherness to achieve more. Many people have said that that dream is impossible. But I am saying again today that we need to dream, and we need to dream big, and we need to put our dreams into action. We need to materialize our dreams. And this can only happen through each member understanding their role in the credit union. The role of each member in the credit union is to remember that each one of us are part owners of the credit union. People have become very complacent and they can individually and collectively provide a lot of reasons why we should not. But at the same time, we individually and collectively can provide a lot of reasons why we should. As part owners of the credit union, each one of us have a serious responsibility. A responsibility of making sure that the credit union moves forward. Making sure that we put our technical skills, our managerial skills, and our financial resources together so that we can achieve much more. When the question is asked, what have we done apart for our own family and our own individual growth and development? What have we done? And the credit union has provided this avenue to answer that question. It has provided an avenue where we can come together, where we can come together and use all of our resources for a better Hindu community, a better Trinidad and Tobago, a better group of people, an increased standard of living. In today's society, experience is the fastest thing that comes to our mind. I want to suggest that we give excuses a little rest. And I'm asking all members, right? So it's not like I'm separate or anybody is separate. The, the executive, the board are members, selected by the members for the benefit of the members. And today I'm asking all members that the time has reached for us to really make a significant dent, a significant move so that we can achieve and move this credit union. And this is calling upon all of us to at least give two hours a week towards the growth and development of the credit union. We are asking every member, if you have to make a phone call, if you have to support someone, if you have to share advice, if you have to spread the membership, at least two hours a week will make this happen. So friends, fellow members, on behalf of Board of Directors and all committees, I want to again thank everyone for having this faith and I want again to thank everyone for having this vision. I want to encourage everyone to clarify your vision clearer, make it crystal in the minds so that we can work together for a better trailer and Tobago. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, and with me is Nalini Janki, the outgoing uh, treasurer of the Hindu Parivar Credit Union. So you have served for one term a year? Uh, two, two years. For two years, as, as treasurer? As treasurer, yes. And was, tell me about your experience. Well, I was here from the initial setup, and well, it has been a learning experience. And, you know, just trying to implement everything and see the number of bylaws. And, to get the credit union going. 
So are you happy with the progress of the current Yes. Barring the COVID-19? Yes, yes. We, from, from the beginning to now, it has been a, well, we have been progressing at a good enough rate. COVID slowed us down a bit, but from this financial year, we tried to, um, to see how far we could go with getting now, new members. I, I, I think I'm the, I'm the oldest person here. I am noticing the majority young people. Yes. Under 40, most of them are in their 30s and so on. Uh, are you reaching out to the elders in the community? Sorry? Are you reaching out to the elders or are you targeting only the young people? No, no, no. We're targeting um, persons. We have someone who is 80, 82 years, a member who's 82 years, and I think the youngest member is 17. Mm -hmm. So we have people ranging from 17 to 82. 80? Yeah, 80 plus. Right. So you, you are very pleased with the progress of the country yes. so far? Yes, I am. Okay, thank you very much. Well, I'm here with three gentlemen from the Hindu Parivar Credit Union. Okay, one member. And we have uh, Gautam Maharaj. Uh, he, was re -elected. he was elected to the supervisory committee. And Gautam, tell me about your involvement with the Hindu Parivar Credit Union. Sure. So I have been here uh, from inception. And what has motivated me to um, join and, and continue to be here is the fact that the mainstream financial institutions uh, carry a, a, a distinct difference to what a credit union of this nature carry. Uh, in, a fin in the mainstream financial institution, your individual, your needs uh, for your particular area and for your particular activity that you, you are involved in is not really known and um, taken into consideration. It is merely a statistical relationship you bear with the administration at the mainstream financial institution. Whereas in a credit union like this, it is a panchayat system, it is a brother's keeper system. So it is a brotherhood, it is each one looking so you after will, you each will other. So you will know most of the members present here today? Certainly, yes, yes. And, and, and I would be familiar with most of the people from this catchment also. And that is one of the main differences that I'm speaking of, because it means that our resources our small monies are being pulled together so that we can work it for the betterment of ourselves. And in that also carries the specific elements that are different from the institution in terms of the care and consideration and all of that. Yeah, thank you very much, Gautam Maharaj. And I now move to Shami Maharaj. Shami was re-elected to, to, uh, re to the director today and Shami was here since the inception. Now, Shami, give me your perspective on the HPCU. Yeah, okay. The Hindu Parivar Credit Union, well, we stress on the word Parivar, meaning family. Now, we presently we are based in Barapo. Barapo is a remote area. It is a Hindu catchment area also. So, we want to help, help people from all areas of the country, including areas that are not targeted for the bigger institutes. So, we want to spread from, from starting from Barapo to build and grow and share our love, our family appreciation to everyone. Right? One of the things of the Hindu Parivar Credit Union is that everything we do is above board and very transparent. The ministry fully approves everything that we do and endorses everything, and they are involved with us in every step of the way. We have all of our members are financially trained by the FIU and, and the credit, uh, by the credit union societies, and so everything we do is above board. How old is this credit union? We are presently in two, two years, going into two years. Two years old. And tell me something about the COVID-19, how it affected the credit union? Well, it has affected us in the sense that we were not able to reach out to the public to bill it as we would, would like to. But being innovative, you know, we're trying different methods. We're creating Facebook pages, we're using Zoom meetings and other um, social networks to get out to the, the public. To so you are it. happy with the progress so far? Well, um, we could be a bit more aggressive, but due to the COVID restriction, yes, presently, yes, we are moving on. Right, so I'm now going to talk to Visham Manbod. Manbod has been around for a long time. He's a member of the Credit Union. Manbod, give me your view. You, 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 you witnessed the AGM today. What's your view on it? Well, I think um, the AGM was well conducted. Uh, it was fairly conducted. The members, the membership, had the opportunity to nominate persons on the floor for serving on the credit committee, the supervisory committee, and the board of directors. 
and there were officers from the cooperative department of the Ministry of Cooperatives who supervised the election of officers and it was fair, done very fair. And I am very satisfied with that aspect of the meeting. There are two officers of the Hindu Parivar Credit Union, one Mark Singh, uh, director, and uh, we have uh, Sunil Ramdas, he is uh, secretary of the Hindu Parivar Credit Union. Sunil, tell me about today AGM. Are you pleased with the outcome, how yes, it was conducted? very pleased, very pleased. Um, not in all the constraints, constraints with COVID, members, them, they made a concerted, a very good effort to be present here, and I'm glad we had the um, quorum for the meeting, and uh, there are lots of people here who express the willingness to serve and to make, to, you know, work towards the building the credit union. And that okay. is what I'm glad for. So Mark, you are quite a young man, but tell me something. I, I just now ask one person is that I am only seeing young people here. Uh, are you all only targeting young people in this credit union or are there elders being invited to join? I'm glad, I'm glad you're seeing Parsi Grays on my face and calling me young, but um, no, we're not really targeting younger people in particular. Um, the credit union is open to all age groups, you know, um, it's just that probably the younger people are seeing the need for, for this, this, type of, this type of work and they are becoming active in it, which is a good thing. You know? So Mark, you are from outside, the, the question is Barapur Base, you are from North Trinidad. Uh, what, what strategies you have to uh, to get members from North Trinidad to join the credit right. union? So the best strategy is to, to start at home. You know, you, I, I, I am getting my wife to, to become a member. Um, I'm looking right now currently at my mother, my, my brothers, my sisters. You know, that's the best strategy, to work at, 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 um, on close people, right, and then branch out. That is, that is really actually the best strategy. So you intend to give this project a lot of your time? Oh, definitely, definitely. And you expecting some good results, success down the road? Well, of course, the expectation is there, you know, but um, right now it's just service, you know, service to, to the community, to the society and, and the Hindu body world. So now you are an anchor here in terms of involvement in the community and so on, not just the credit union. All right. Uh, where where you get all this energy to? Me? Well, there, not a matter of all the energy. It's my it's my vision that the members of this community could grow to their full potential, and not just this community, the country, and in particular the Hindu society. We need all to come up to a, a standard that they might be able to make a contribution towards the positive development of our nation. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much.